hi welcome back how are you doing i mean it is such a beautiful day out here in atlanta the sun is out there is so much life in the atmosphere so i'm really feeling good i hope that you're feeling the same way i'm happy that you're here and i'm excited about our topic of the day it's about self-talk self-talk so what do you tell yourself what are you saying to yourself when nobody is around and it's just you yourself and you what kind of conversations do you have with yourself you know as human beings we are social beings right so we grow up around people we work around people we have families we're always interacting with people and one of the ways that we interact with people is by having discussions so people talk to us uh, there's always this chatter going on there's always you know um, conversations going on people saying things to us or saying things to them and then we grow up as we are growing up we learn how to you know discard certain things we learn how to not pay attention to certain things we let certain things slide especially those that are negative um, but then we also take in you know certain um, words that are being said to us but then, you know, the, there's the other type of discussion that is very, very important. And that's what we are saying to ourselves. Words actually, or thoughts, and what we say to ourselves actually become who we are. Because imagine you having a conversation with yourself. Imagine what you are telling yourself that becomes so inbred in you. Imagine what you believe about yourself and those beliefs and the thoughts and the things that we say to ourselves actually become us and they spew out of us. So it is very important to keep tabs of what you're saying to yourself. Now, I would like to share three things that you should never say to yourself. Three things that I've learned to really avoid saying, you know, to myself because just because of the negative um repercussion just because they kind of hold you back and they make you feel not so good when you're actually <laughs> precious and perfect okay so the first thing you should never say to yourself is i wish i was different i wish i was different come on you are good just the way you are you're beautiful you're handsome you're talented you were created just the way you are you know you are special you will take a look at that flower out there why would you wish you were different and you know i kind of really learned how to be happy with who i am based on the bible on the bible verse you know i think it's uh, matthew 5 14 to 16. um i read the bible a lot but i'm not very good at quoting the bible so i'm going to work on that but that verse talks about a city that is built upon a hill okay it says that you are the light of the world a city built upon a hill cannot be hidden so if you live in a city or a town um, or if you live in a town where there is a hill right and imagine a house or a city built on that hill you see that everybody's eyes are always drawn to that hill and to that house that is built on that hill and that's who you are you are a city that is built upon a hill so let your light shine that bible verse talks about who lights a lamp and hides it under a bowl instead if you light up a lamp you put it out so that that lamp would light up the room and people will see just how beautiful uh, that lamp is making the room and, and people will admire the beautiful works of that lamp and give praise to our father in heaven so that's really how we are we were created uh, you know we are a city on that hill and we have to allow ourselves to shine we have to allow our light to shine and when you continuously look upon yourself and and be like oh my god i wish i was different then you're holding back that light the light that you've been blessed to to be born with now you keep thinking that you wish you were different it's like you're taking that lamp and hiding it under a bowl so instead of wishing you were different just let your light shine okay so don't ever tell yourself i wish i was different the second thing you shouldn't tell yourself is i am not going to make it how does that sound it doesn't even sound good right telling yourself you're not going to make it 
Flip it around and tell yourself, I am going to make it. Truth be told, I mean, there are certain projects that we take on. There are certain tasks that we face, whether it's an exam, whether, you know, you're looking for a new job, whether you're you're starting a new business. Sometimes you feel like, oh my God, this is hard. You know, am I going to be able to make it? Actually, that's what, you know, you you, you look at those challenges. You it's, Sometimes it's natural to feel kind of, you know, discouraged, but you should instead speak words of encouragement to yourself, especially if it's something that you believe in and it's something that you are actually going to take on. Because the moment you tell yourself, I am not going to make it, you're already defeated. When you tell yourself you're going to make it and then you start, okay, follow that, I am going to make it with action. And once you start taking the action, the road opens up. And you may actually find yourself, you know, going in a different direction. You may actually find that where where you actually head towards may be different from what you thought was going to happen. But just because you've, you've taken the action, you believe that you're going to make it, you are going to end up exactly where you were supposed to end up. Okay, so don't ever tell yourself, I am not going to make it. Tell yourself, I'm going to make it and then go for it okay the third thing you should never tell yourself is people do not like me or nobody likes me please that is just a lie okay now let's get back to reality not everybody's going to like us not everybody i don't care how likable you are i don't care how successful you are people are just not gonna like you but you have to understand that people do not like you Based, it's, it's their problem. It's, it's about them, not about you. If you find yourself um, as a go-getter, if you find yourself doing things or achieving things that most people do not achieve, they are not going to like you. Um, if you're different, most people will not like you. Okay, so most people are actually intimidated by anything that is different from them. And like I said, that's on them. And that's not something that you have to carry on because thinking that nobody likes you can really be one of the most crippling thoughts or things that you can say to yourself. You just have to understand that you are who you are and you are going for it and you're excited about your life and the right people love you and they support you and you just have to be yourself, okay? You, you you have to understand that as a leader you cannot fit into you know what people people are trying into the molds that people are trying to fit you into what makes you great and special is the fact that you are actually unique and you actually stand bold in who you are okay so don't get intimidated by you know somebody acting like they don't like you it's it's their it's their business but once you just focus on being your best and once you accept yourself and work on yourself then you know somebody not liking you shouldn't slow you down they shouldn't hold you back they should instead be uh, encouraging to you okay so those are three things that i have seen a lot of people you know struggle with every single day i mean we are human beings it is normal sometimes to to think these thoughts or to for these thoughts to kind of try to creep into our minds but just remember that once you start feeling like oh my god i wish i was different remind yourself about the light that is shining in your heart and that you need to sh share with the world that you were created with once you start feeling like oh my god nobody likes me remember that you're beautiful you have so much to bring to the table and it is really not on you whether somebody likes you or not you just have to that light bring it out and serve you know as a leader and also whenever you start feeling like i'm not gonna make it just flip it around and tell yourself i am going to make it so thank you very much for listening in today um i hope that this helps i hope that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't please subscribe to the channel also i'm going to post uh, a few links like i always do um, um articles that you can read to help with your self-talk keep tabs on your self-talk do not hold back from being confident do not hold back from entering into a room and saying boom i'm here that's what leadership is about 
so i hope you have a good day i hope that you keep playing to win i hope that you don't settle i hope that you go for life and i am your number one fan cheers to your success bye have a good day